the NVIDIA app just got updated, and along with DLSS 4.5, NVIDIA added an incredible new feature that makes choosing the best DLSS preset way easier than ever. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step step how to use this new option and get the best image quality and performance for your PC. NVIDIA just released a massive DLSS 4.5 update, and most people still don't understand how big this really is. With the new NVIDIA app, you can now upgrade DLSS quality in over 400 games, even if the game itself was never updated. And the biggest improvements happen exactly where DLSS used to look bad. Performance and ultra performance modes. Everything can be configured directly inside the NVIDIA app. Go to the graphics tab, select a specific game, or use global settings at the top. Scroll down to DLSS overrides, open model presets, and select recommended. This setting automatically applies. Preset M for DLSS Performance. Preset L for DLSS Ultra Performance. Preset K for the remaining DLSS modes. This new recommended option is specifically tuned for DLSS 4.5. Inside the game, press Alt plus Z to open the NVIDIA app overlay. From here, select Statistics and enable the Performance overlay. Next, choose Custom View, click on View All, and then enable Super Resolution Model Override. This overlay allows you to see exactly which DLSS model and preset are currently active in real time, which is extremely useful when testing different configurations. As you can see right now, the DLSS model is marked as inactive, and that's because DLSS is still disabled in the game's graphics settings. So the first step is to enable DLSS inside the game. To start, let's select DLSS Quality Mode. Based on NVIDIA's recommended balance between image quality and performance, this will automatically use the preset K, which offers the most stable and efficient option for quality mode. From this point on, we can switch between different DLSS modes and immediately see how the model changes, making it much easier to compare image quality, performance impact, and decide which preset works best for your system. When you select the recommended option inside the NVIDIA app, Everything is configured automatically for you, and this is where DLSS 4.5 really shines. This single setting intelligently applies different DLSS models depending on the mode you're using. For DLSS Performance Mode, it selects Preset M, which is optimized to deliver better sharpness and stability while keeping the performance cost as low as possible. When you switch to DLSS Ultra Performance, the app automatically applies Preset L. This model is specifically designed for extreme upscaling scenarios, especially 4K Ultra Performance, where image quality used to completely break down in previous DLSS versions. For all the remaining DLSS modes, including Quality, Balanced, and even DLAA, the app sticks with Preset K. What makes this new recommended option so important is that it replaces the old latest preset and is fully tuned for DLSS 4.5. Instead of using a one-size-fits-all approach, NVIDIA is now applying the best model for each specific use case. This means you no longer need to guess which preset looks better or manually switch models every time you change DLSS modes. The NVIDIA app does that work for you ensuring you get the best possible balance between image quality and performance. It's especially useful if you play many different games, because the same logic applies globally or on a per-game basis, saving time and avoiding bad configurations. So in short, the new DLSS 4.5 recommended preset is one of the most useful quality of life improvements NVIDIA has ever added to DLSS. It simplifies the process, improves visual quality, and makes DLSS performance and ultra performance modes finally worth using. If this breakdown helped you, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment below which game you want to see tested next with DLSS 4.5. Real benchmarks, real results. See you in the next video.